Hello, this is introduction to the image segmentation with Microscopy Image Browser. In this tutorial I will show you the basic image segmentation tools such as brush, interpolation, local black and white thresholding to segment some of organelles in the data set obtained by serial block face scanning in microscopy. First we need to open the data and in this particular case the data is stored as the 16-bit TIFF files where each of the file has a single section. In order to open, uh, assemble these uh, files into 3D stack, I should select these files using the to highlight the first file in the series using the left mouse button. And then using the shift, I just click on the last uh, file in the section. And then I press the right mouse button to call a pop-up menu. In this pop-up menu, I select combine selected data sets. Now the data is open and then it's 3D stack. And then we can see it by moving the slider on the mouse wheel. Now the data looks quite gray and this is because the data is, uh, was taken in 16-bit format and the, in the actual intensities are not stretched through the whole intensity range. In order to stretch the data, we need to press the display button. And using the left key, we can change the left the minimum value, minimum intensity value, and using the right key we can change the right, uh, the maximum intensity value. Alternatively, we can just click on this min and max button, and in this case the minimum and maximum intensity point for the whole data sets will be found, and then the data will be stretched to this value. Uh, what I would like to do, I would like to actually convert the data to 8-bit, because it will decrease uh, twice the space that data occupies in the memory and also will make some of the things much faster. In order to do that I will actually recalculate the intensities by pressing this all slices. I just channel one for all slices button and would, what would happen that the intensity which is now 21,000 becomes zero and the intensity which is 25,000 becomes 65,000. As you can see now uh, the next step, uh, now the data was stretched, but it's still in the 16-bit format, and I need to convert the data to 8-bit format. And this can be done from the menu, image, mode, 8-bit. Now the data is converted. We can check the data in the different projections, uh, but actually what you can see here is that the data looks a little bit squeezed. And this is because the uh, the actual voxels in these data sets are not isotropic. And uh, in order to fix this, we should go to the data set parameters. And in here we can define the proper voxel size for this data. And in this particular case, I have 30 nanometers XY and 30 nanometer Z resolution. After that, you can see that the data was stretched properly, and these sleepy droplets look quite uh, roundish as they should be. <coughs> okay, so uh, what is actually segmentation? Segmentation is the process when we assign a label to each uh, voxel of the data, and this label uh, can kind of specify what kind of material is this voxel belongs to. For example, in this data set we can have uh, materials which could be nuclear envelope in here, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and uh, lipid droplets. Like these guys here. So uh, let's start with the uh, lipid droplets. In order to start the model we need to press the create button in the segmentation panel in the left lower corner. What happens it allocates the space uh, in the memory for the model. Then we press the plus button to add material to the model. And the first material which we have here we can call it and uh, I can select this material with the mouse button then press the right mouse button to call the pop-up menu and press, uh, I select here a name and I can name it as lipid uh, droplets. So uh, this is 
gonna be our the first our first material. Okay, but uh, before we continue further, I would actually save the data set to the disk because we process it a little bit and it will be much faster the next time we open the data that's already at this state. So I'll go file, save image as. Now we are end up, I will start in the same folder where we used to open the data, so we'll just go one directory up. And uh, I will use a mirror mesh file for storing the data. And, uh, okay, well, the name is fine, just like this. And it saves the task again for these parameters as a voxel size, but uh, we are fine with those. Now we can save it. And then uh, we continue with sleeping droplets.